1980, following the success of Halloween, a couple of producers are like, hey, let's just kind of copy that and get that same success and make some money. And thus, Friday the 13th was born. This is By the Numbers, so stick around. You're afraid of dying. How do you know? You've never tried it before. Welcome back to By the Numbers. We're going to be talking about Friday the 13th. Used to be my favorite franchise. It's not anymore. Now it's in second. Scream is not my favorite, but this is about Friday. Uh, as I said in the opening there, they blatantly tried to rip off uh, Halloween. That's not my opinion. If you watch any behind-the-scenes things from the first Friday movie, they admit that's what they were trying to do. They were just trying to copy the success and hop on that hype train to make some money. Of course, since then, it's blossomed into its own huge cultural phenomenon. But the first one... They are just trying to copy Halloween. The numbers on this one kind of surprised me, not going to lie. Uh, we're going to kick it off with the movie ratings. Now, I picked nine different rating criteria from across the internet, nine different systems where they rate. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is in there, both critic score and audience score, Metacritic, both critic and user score, a lot of different ones. And if you uh, average out all those scores for every movie, the franchise as a whole only has a 47.8 out of 100. That's terribly, terribly low. Um, kind of surprising, but the first movie is not the highest rated of the franchise, which is no surprise, because everyone goes into that first movie thinking about, you know, if you haven't seen the franchise before, but you know about it, you go in expecting Jason, and you don't get Jason. Even part two, you don't get Jason as we know him. You don't get that till part three. So the first ranked movie, or the first, you know, movie is not the highest ranked in the franchise. That's actually part six it just narrowly beats out the first movie. Part 6 is actually ranked at a 54.67 out of 100, uh, with the first movie coming in at a 54.22. So they're just neck and neck. Uh, the third one, running out the top three highest ranked in the franchise, is actually Freddy vs. Jason with a 51.67. Now the site that ranked the franchise the highest is actually Google with an average of 80.75, and the site that ranked it the lowest is the Metacritic critic score with a 24.75. I don't know what's up their asses, but this franchise is so much better than that. Now we're going to talk about range. Range is a measure of how consistent the franchise is. What you're going to do is you're going to take the highest ranked film in the franchise and the lowest ranked, and you're going to subtract them. And that's going to give you a number, and that is how consistent your franchise is. Ideally, your range is very low. A low range means you're very consistent. It doesn't mean you're always good. could mean you're always bad. Now the range for Friday the 13th, is a 22.78. Now, compared to Halloween and, and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, which we've already done, that is really good. Halloween was in the, the 50 range, and uh, Nightmare was in the 35 range. That's not good. That means your best movie is really good, but your worst movie is really, really bad. Ideally, you want your bad movies to still be pretty good, you know? So, a range of 22.78 is not bad. It's actually the best one we've looked at so far. We want to look into the timeline of this franchise. Now, first movie came out May 9th of 1980. The most recent movie, freaking 15 years ago, because they can't get their shit together with these legal issues, but it came out February 13th of 2009, and that was the remake. Now, this franchise has been going. The, the difference between that first release date and the most recent release date is 10,513 days. That gives us an average time between films of 955.72 days or 2.62 years between films. Of course, we can't talk about slashers without talking about the kill count. Now, I did use uh, Dead Meat's kill counts for this number. I used the recount on all of them. Uh, so that's where I got the numbers for this kill count. If you got any problems with this, take it up with Dead Meat and James. The franchise has had 300 kills over its 12 movies, giving us an average of 25 kills per movie. The movie with the highest kill count is going to be Jason X, part 10. It's a little padded because you do have some spaceships blowing up that have like 30 people on it or something like that. It's a little bit padded, but in part 10, Jason gets 88 kills attributed to him. And the movie with the lowest kill count is actually part 2 with only 9 kills. And finally, you can't talk about numbers without talking about good old money. Green. Dollar. The average budget for a Friday the 13th film is 6,554,000 and whatever. Right? That's a pretty good budget. The first one only had a budget of $550,000. 
And unsurprisingly to me, the film in the franchise with the highest budget was actually Freddy vs. Jason. It had a budget of $25 million. And now let's talk about box office. The movies on average make $37.283 million, which that's not bad. That's an average return of $30.7 million. These numbers are not adjusted for inflation, but the movie that grossed the highest was also Freddy vs. Jason, which made $116.6 million at the box office. The movie that made the lowest, unsurprisingly as well, was Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan, which only made $14.3 million, which had a budget of $5 million. So that's less than a $9 million return, and that's not even taken into account how much the theaters take everything like that so that movie did not do well and there you go everyone that is friday the 13th by the numbers did any of these numbers surprise you i gotta admit a 47.8 average rating for the franchise surprised the hell out of me the franchise is so much better than that it does it does have some bad movies but i don't think it's got anything that bad i, I think that's kind of crazy and with that i will see you all next week with another franchise i don't know what franchise i'm going to do yet if you have any recommendations that you want to see me do by the numbers for drop it down in the comments I love you all. Have a great, safe week. Oh. I hate goodbyes. <laughs>